rising majestically from the azure waters of the Arabian Gulf, the Palm Dubai stands as an unparalleled testament to human ingenuity and ambition. Shaped like a palm tree stretching into the horizon, it is a true oasis of luxury. And here we are. Welcome to paradise. This architectural marvel behind me was designed and developed by Valar. It sits on an 8,750 square foot built up area. Internally, it's 7,800 square feet. It has six bedrooms, all with en suites, and it's over three levels. Most importantly, the location is incredible. We're right on the beachfront here. I'm gonna show you around the entire house today. Before we start, I wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you. Here at the Luxury Home Show, we've recently hit 400,000 subscribers. It's been our dream to visit properties like this with you, and so, couldn't have done it without you. So thank you. Give this video a like if you've been here for a while on the channel and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into the tour. So we just had to start the tour off in the back garden of this property. Look at those views. We have direct beachfront access right in front of us. To my right is the Infinity Swimming Pool. It has the sunken sun loungers. Tom and I were just thinking, how good are they as a chill spot? So good. Stay submerged. We're on Frong N today as well. Worth noting. And check this out. Tom's just backed over it. So within the swimming pool area, we have this feature walkway. And I love that. There's something about walking and connecting your home to water, particularly when we're so close to it. It's, it's very tranquil, very relaxing. We have views to both Atlantis's the new Atlantis residence is over there. Gorgeous amount of space out here. We're surrounded by mature palm trees as well as some new lush greenery. So this is your outdoor kitchen. And look at this Italian marble, absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful vein detailing. The exterior furniture is by a company called Kettle. It's all included, so the house comes fully furnished. I'm gonna take you now down this side access. There is also a side access to the other side of the property. Now, this is beautiful. So we've got the mature trees lining it beautiful lighting in there. And I'm sure you might have spotted it behind me already. We have an olive tree and this is over a hundred years old. There's a couple of these imported and they are now here in Dubai in the house. We come down the walkway again, the seamless connection with the water, the tiles. It just feels like your own little tranquil oasis along here. Then we have some more greenery. We can look at the architectural details on the property. So we have a combination of gray stone tiles here and then some lighter white stone over there. So I'm gonna open the gate now and we'll show you the front of the property. So why don't Tom, you go through here and then we'll show everyone through. And whilst we're doing that, we can again just appreciate the alleyway here, the design, the style. There's an access here into bedroom six. It does have a ground floor bedroom. We've also got security systems all around the property. Not that you need it in Dubai, it's like the safest place to live in the world. And then combine that with being on the palm and it's even more secure. So this is the front of the property. I mean, wow, just take that in for a moment. So you can see the name here. The property is called Villa Terra, which stems from the Latin word and means goddess of the earth. Wow, I just wanna enjoy looking at that for a moment. We're amongst some very beautiful villas here on the palm. We have the garage over on this side, the motor court here. Again, we've got huge slabs, we've got beautiful Rolls Royce coming by. We're not gonna film very private here on the palm, of course, which is why people love it. Finally, we have another olive tree here amongst your landscaped garden and water feature, and perhaps the most incredible entrance. So I'm a pretty tall person, but I'm dwarfed by this door. Incredible. Let's go inside. Welcome inside the entrance. Check out this door. I mean, that's not a normal sized door. And it very much reminds us, we were just chatting about it, of the Skyframe door in the Benjamin project in Lytham in the UK. If you haven't watched that tour, you can check it out after this one. Before we start, something very important. I've got to take these shoes off, of course. You guys know I'm always respecting the flooring and this is absolutely pristine travertine flooring. So I have prepared in advance my slippers just so I can feel bougie. This is my house, <laughs> welcome inside. <laughs> As we look up, we have an incredible Italian chandelier by a company called Hange. And I mean, the ceiling height, come on. I mean, what, probably 12 meters? Incredible. This here is bedroom six, which is the one we touched on when we we're outside. I mean, how about this? Yeah, that feature wall is pretty impressive. Incredible, right? 
So stone feature wall, beautiful ambient lighting surrounding it, really complements the chandelier nicely. On my left is access to the utility, the double garage and the maid's room. On my right, we have the staircase and the elevator. This is a favorite area of mine. It's the indoor garden. Yeah, I love the garden. It's so cool, right? So nice. Like a little zen space inside your home. Makes all the difference. Yeah. This home is all about tranquility. You want somewhere, you know, for me, I want to come home and feel like it's an oasis. I'm yeah. escaping from the world. I've got everything I could possibly need and more, and this home delivers on that. So the fireplace over here, this is one of the seating areas. So it's very much open concept, open plan down here. TV over there, look out onto the olive tree. Here's something cool. What do you think this is? Let me know in the comments. So to confirm what I mean, this. So I'm gonna give you a few seconds to guess. One, two, three. Okay, votes are in. So this is a speaker system. Yeah, Bang & Olufsen. And it's really good. Yeah, the owner yeah. showed us and it was pretty loud. It's properly loud. <laughs> yeah. And the sound then carries throughout and we were chatting about like design ideas and a lot of homes like this, you see the speaker system throughout the ceiling, but one possible downside of that is it can become outdated quite quickly and then it's obviously a huge process to change. Whereas something like this, and you could have a couple of them, if they're good enough quality and they do have to be, it could work really well. You now join us in the kitchen. So let's talk about this. We have the worktop here. This one's like a Decton style. I believe it's granite. It's all about being neutral tones and very long lasting. Marble is beautiful, but it stains very easy. So for a kitchen worktop, this is a pretty good choice. It's a nice texture as well. It's actually quite raw. It's yeah. not completely polished. There's a few imperfections to it and that makes it so much nicer for me. I agree. It's like when you walk down to the beach. Do you want it to be absolutely pristine or do you want there to be a few little waves in the sand? A couple shells. Yeah. Then we have the electric charger pop-up stand here. You'll notice, perhaps if you're paying close attention, to exquisite details like this. Now this is Hermes serveware. Stunning, right? Like, I love that teapot. This one. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. cool. Cool, right? What is it? It's like a, it's like a chicken. Yeah, kind of. I, I don't think it's anything real. It's just no, like this weird. It's just interesting design, isn't it? I mean, it's like lips there. You know? <laughs> and then you have the overhanging wooden aspect of the kitchen, creating that bar somewhere to put a, you know, a few stools under. There's a lot more kitchen for us to see, but before we do that, we've got to point out this waterfall. So I mentioned about the automation system. So you can use this button here to turn on your very own waterfall. I mean, come on. I think you should go and open up that door so we can get a nice relaxing sound. Yeah. So why don't we actually do a loop and then we could create a new YouTube channel, like sounds? Yeah. <laughs> ASMR. Loop. Luxury home, so sounds pending. Nice. Beautiful. That was a good way to actually show these incredible doors as well. Slide seamlessly along the travertine tiles. They're absolutely huge. I mean, again, just look at proportions. Think about the size of me and those, and you can open this all the way up in an outdoor lifestyle and somewhere like Dubai is very important and it flows effortlessly here. We have Miele appliances throughout here. This is the induction hob and induction hobs are very sleek. They match the design of this home very minimal. Summer would really appreciate this fridge and I'm striving to buy a house that has a big enough fridge for us because this is fridge goals. Check out this. <laughs> that's big. <laughs> yeah, that's wide. So cool, isn't it? And of course, like, it wouldn't be a home like this if it wasn't stuck with a vast sparkling water dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. Actually, it's actually really light. You don't <laughs> even need to do that. And then this side, is the freezer, tons of freezer drawers, and you have further fridge and freezer space in the chef's kitchen anyway. Yeah. I wanna show you something, come on. Vilroy and Bosch create really high-end sanitary wear, great quality, but did you know they also make knives? Wow. And forks and spoons. Yeah. And cutlery. Yeah. Very cool, and there's actually something similar to that I wanna show you in the kitchen, so keep watching for that. But let us know so far what you think of this home in the comments. Is there anywhere in this area we haven't seen yet? So. We could walk through here. Dining area, maybe we could show that. I like yeah. the marble on the table there. Oh, the seats are so nice as well. They match that kind of nature-y vibe that you get inside the house. Yeah, that's true. Almost like the, you know, the leaf pattern. Exactly. Similar to the leaves outside, actually. So that's quite well thought out. Furniture-wise, this is a company called Vision Air. And again, comes included with the purchase price. 
But I mean, that table is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful chandelier, Beautiful. light fixture above the above yeah. the table. And it, it's actually so nice because because it's like a bubble effect, especially looking at the waterfall because it's see through. You can see it, and it just creates this really nice image. That you might not be able to see on camera, but it's very very cool. This is the secondary kitchen. So press through like this, come on in. Now this is a luxury space in itself. So as we talked about the Miele fiber and gas hob just there, Miele oven, chef style, you know, this is where your chef is cooking up your meals for you. And then a gigantic um, fridge. This one is Lieber. Again, really high end, top quality brand. Even the hinge, though it's just hidden. It's, it's like a panel. It? Yeah, top quality as well. Um, the developers of this, as we talked about at the start, they've built a number of absolutely mesmerizing villas like this. So they have a really great track record here in Dubai, which I think is important when you're buying somewhere like this. I almost forgot to the left of me, it's so hidden. This is the powder room. Come on in. This is a gorgeous space. Check out these mosaic tiles. These are from Italy and they're a brand called Petra Antiqua. And again, gorgeous Laura and Bosch appliances gold accents on the sink here, stunning. Now, we have the elevator here, we'll take that and we'll show you the next floor, let's go. We're now on the first floor, we have a closer look at the incredible chandelier here. There's also stairs there available up to the next floor which we'll show you. Let's check out these bedrooms. Now this, and this, as you can see here, is Armani wallpaper, and that is throughout the property. Crazy. So this is one of the bedrooms we're gonna show you. We've got the blue wallpaper here. This is at the front of the property, so it enjoys an incredible view across towards JBR and across the other fronds of the palm. We have the Italian wooden flooring here. Beautiful bedroom. Again, the visionaire furniture, and a nice TV spot here. Let us know as we tour throughout which is your favorite room. Each of them have their own unique space, unique ensuite. So we've got walk-in wardrobe area here, very tinted, pocket sliding doors out of there, and then come on in to the ensuite. So this here, this finish is beautiful. This is porcelain. Crazy. High quality porcelain. Yeah. It looks like crystal. It's amazing, isn't it? In person, it's such a good detail. Sink over here, these are Antonio Lupi sanctuary. So now this space is incredible. This is worth appreciating in itself, isn't it? Somewhere to display art. Very, very nice. Next bedroom. And again, something I want to show you, if you can see from there, like this is not a normal door height. Like it's actually amazing. And these are the bedrooms upstairs. High quality doors, nice and strong. Come on in. So another bedroom, slightly different style. This one, We've got darker tones. Again, the visionaire bed, wallpapers up here and another pocket sliding door. So the finish changes when you come into the ensuite. We've got a nice dark gray tone with some blacks coming through. And we've got a combination of shiny surface there and then the matte finish on the floor. If you're enjoying these rooms, wait till you see the master bedroom. It is incredible. So that's the one just over there. Before I show you that, I'm gonna take you into the next bedroom through the door here. Now this is at the back of the property. So we've got the wardrobe here, a different Armani wallpaper, green tones, feels very luxury for sure. So this one enjoys its own balcony and then access outside so you can enjoy those incredible views down to the beachfront, down to the sea. Pocket sliding doors into the ensuite. We have black marble in here. Again, the Antonio Lupi sanitary wear mirror and sink unit as well. Just lovely and flush through into the shower and Vilroy and Bosch brand new state-of-the-art appliances. Tom's lost a slipper. <laughs> <laughs> I could get used to this slipper line. Yeah, it's quite nice, villain. right? <laughs> We've stumbled as we're talking into the principal bedroom, which is mesmerizing. The views, honestly, are amazing. We have the door slightly open, the curtains blowing in the wind. Beautiful, right? So this has, again, Armani wallpaper, and all of these rooms have a slightly recessed ceiling, so you can fit an uh, LED light around to make it very ambient. Show us that dressing room. Check it out. This is huge. Absolutely incredible dressing room. Lots of 
Hermes, bits and bobs throughout. That's the life, eh? Move into this villa, fill it with incredible designer clothing from the malls, the various malls that are in Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> Opulent life. I think we should head out onto the, the terrace, to be honest. Good shout. Let's do it. Oh, wow. The birds wow. are chirping, the palms in the wind. Ho, ho, ho. The look down to the infinity pool, views across towards the Atlantises. If you've been to Dubai, you can't not know about the Atlantises. I mean, architecturally, they're both marvels. One's more of a retro look. One is probably one of the most futuristic buildings in the world, but they're both stunning to look at. And this does stretch yeah. like the width of the property. Yeah, it's huge, isn't it? Like loads and loads of space, massive out here. And you've got like these nice, these nice architecture at the top, creating some shaded areas. Yeah, a bit as of dappled well. shade. It's yeah, lovely. Dappled shade. Nice. Okay, come on through. We've got the ensuite yet to see in here. Really like this. I quite like that it's like dialed back. It's quite neutral. It's earthy, and we have the pebbles in here. Yeah, That's I cool. love those pebbles. Proper like Me Miami too. vibe. Yeah, so nice. I've got a Pinterest board saved with very similar bathrooms. Yeah. We have the pebbles, the lights, and no, sorry, the. Uh, plants and then the lights shining up. It's like uplighting on the plants. Yeah, yeah nice. love that. This is a, a really interesting finish here. Again, it's like quite matte, feels very durable. And these and the taps to turn on, I'm like, this feels so luxury. I love the soft curves on the basins. Yeah. Nice, right? And then shower over there with a gigantic shower head. I mean, what a place to shower? Come on. Yeah. I mean, just standing there looking out across the palm to Atlantis. Nice. Gorgeous. So cool. And in case you're wondering in the comments, because I know someone's going to say it, there are curtains. <laughs> yes, good point. There are curtains, and of course, you literally press a button and they're done. We've now seen the first floor. I'm going to take you upstairs to the next floor where we can see bedroom and incredible roof terrace. <laughs> This is one of my favorite bedrooms. So we're at the very top of the villa now, the perfect guest bedroom space. So a gorgeous bed here. Again, the wallpaper, the wardrobes here. Over this side, we have the elevator access on my right, and then a beautiful ensuite with dark Italian marble, gold accents, gold hardware, stunning in there, and even a stunning semicircle mirror. Now, as we come into the bedroom, this room is all about the views and all about the terrace. You have the most incredible roof terrace out here with your own olive tree. Let's go out. Sunglasses are needed as we come back out here. This is incredible. So you have this at the very top of your villa. You can enjoy sitting here, enjoying views of everything. The palm across that way, we can see the Burj, both Burj, the Burj Khalifa and the Burj Al Arab are in sight that way. And look at this. It's lined with palm trees. I know. That's how you know you're on the palm. Yeah, literally. It's perfect. There's palm trees everywhere. I just love seeing a variety of plants in homes. And when you see an olive tree like this and you get an understanding of what goes into actually delivering something like this to here, over 100 years old, it needs a second to appreciate that in itself. Something else that you may not know about the palm if you haven't been here before is on certain fronds like where we are now, there's actually such a variety of villa designs. So they're not all the same. Everywhere you look, there's a different design and it's so nice seeing all the different architecture. This one's quite contemporary. The one over there is very Arabic. Exactly. It's not copy and paste, you know, it's like such difference. It makes for an interesting scenery. But I'll tell you what, I absolutely love this villa. I think it's probably one of my favorites that I've ever toured on the channel. I can really see myself and Summer living in a property like this of this, you know, this scale and we're gonna make it happen. I think I could just envision e-foiling along here. Oh yeah. How cool would that be? You just pull it straight up to your beach, hang around. That's a life. A hundred percent. So I'm gonna join you guys in the evening as the sun goes down and I'll continue to share what living here is all about. I'm enjoying the last of the sun as it sets just over there. This is the perfect sun trap for the evenings. Just been reminiscing on how amazing Dubai is as a place to live. That sun will rise tomorrow, we'll have another beautiful sunny day. And what a way to enjoy it, living in an incredible villa like this. How good does that villa look at night time? Beautiful lighting, the way it reflects off the palm trees, the way the low sun is reflecting off the ocean. I've loved this tour, and I'm really glad I could bring you guys along with me here. 
to see this. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like the video, show some love and drop a comment. Let me know what you think of the design. Would you change anything? Is it your style? What else do you want to see whilst we're here in Dubai? Let us know. Make sure you subscribed to see our future tours. We're going to enjoy the rest of this villa. See you guys soon. French brand Peugeot make perhaps not the best cars in the world <laughs> and not one that you'd have at this house necessarily. Although they make Beber and Soul. <laughs> it's just stunning. Oh. Oh. I love just finding out wacky features like yeah. that. <laughs>